to wait for the printer to switch it on and once it is on we have to go to the display panel as you can see on the display panel the first step is to select the language so select the English language here confirm the language and here we have to select the country we want to use this printer next step is to install the setup ink cartridges I'm going to show you how to install the setup ink cartridges in this printer now the setup ink cartridges comes in a box so you just have to open the box and take the ink cartridges out so this is the black ink cartridge and other side of the box we have the coloring cartridges next step is to open the ink cartridge chamber door which is at the front of this printer just wait for the ink cartridge chamber to come in the middle now I'll show you how to install them so we can start with the coloring cartridges now you have to check the seal color it should match with the color here also this seal will stay outside facing this side and the HP logo should be upside as like this and you just have to simply place here and slide it in and push it in there is a spring and it will lock and for same for the next the seal should be facing downwards and just place it here slide it in push it in and it will lock now the yellow the seals must stay outside so that we can see the colors and push it in it will lock there and this is the black so here is the seal which is black in color at the down so place it like this and your ink cartridges are installed now close the ink cartridge chamber door and go to the screen so once the ink cartridge door is closed you will see it's checking the printer so just wait for the processing now on the display screen it says instant ink ready that is thank you for choosing that and as the cartridges are installed now we have to click the ok button the next step is to load the A4 size sheet at the paper tray the paper tray is at the bottom so you just have to pull it outside and you can adjust the size there place the A4 size letter sheets and close the door and the paper output tray is here so you just have to slide it out on the display screen we can see it says to do the alignment of the print head now click continue so printer is going to print the alignment page now Open the top scanner bed alignment sheet facing downwards on the upper corner here. Close this door and click on the scan button. On the display panel we can see the alignment is successful and we have to just click on the OK button. The next thing is to do the complete setup and to finish the complete setup it says to go to the HP software at 123.hp.com or you can just click this question button and here we get the option for the network setup so click on the network setup now on the next screen we can see our printer is set up as we can see all the icons are available 
and I'm going to show you how to do the copy with this printer. Now the first thing is to open the top scanner lid and place a page there for the copy. So here. Place it facing downwards on the upper left hand side corner. Go to the display panel and click on the copy button. So here is the copy button. So we just click it once and it is a document. And if you want, you can also print two sided copy or if you want just one that is okay because it's only a one side and click on the copy button so it's here so here we can see the printer is really fast to do the copy and it has very good print quality as I can see here so it's almost same like before the next thing I can show you is how to do the Wi-Fi setup for that we have to go to the setting which is on the top here so click on the setting icon and click again this is the setting icon here we get the network setup option as you can see here so click on that and we are going to use the wireless setting so click on wireless setting now click on the wireless setup wizard it will search for the available wireless routers in your home or office select the Wi-Fi network you want to connect this printer now use this keypad to enter the password once you enter the password click OK button and it will connect with the Wi-Fi network of your home or office also you will see the blue light which is blinking it will stop blinking that means the Wi-Fi connection is set and this might take some time so you just have to wait and in case you are unable to connect with the Wi-Fi you just have to move the printer where the signal strength is really good for the wireless network once it is done click OK and we are ready to add this printer to the different devices so that we can use it for wireless printing and scanning overall I can say this printer is very efficient as we can do it can quickly connect to the Wi-Fi network and the whole process of setup is really easy just the size of the printer is big we can do the multiple scannings because it has a top feeder tray so that you can learn in my other videos and it's really good for home or office use the touch panel is really good and you can also move this screen according to your using at home or office if you want you can connect it with the Wi-Fi network also you can use this printer with the inbuilt Wi-Fi it has that as well so printer looks good and once you are done you can just close this lid thanks for watching